Alright, so this video we're going to look at multiplying complex numbers that are in trigonometric form. Alright, so let's suppose that we have two complex numbers. We got this complex number, r1 times cosine theta 1 plus i sine theta 1, and r sub 2 times cosine theta sub 2 plus i sine theta sub 2. Alright, so to multiply, see we're multiplying the two, so you multiply r1 and r2 together, and then it's cosine of theta 1 plus theta 2 plus i times sine theta 1 plus theta 2. Okay, so let's take a look at the example. And they want us to find the product of this. <clears throat> All right. Now, and I think, I think what I'm going to do here, let's... Let's change this so I know there's a 3. Let's have a different number besides a 3. Let's just change it to 2 times instead of 3 times. All right. <clears throat> so here we go. So remember, to multiply these two together, I've got 3 cosine 45 plus I sine 45. It's going to be this times this one, 2 times cosine 75 plus I times sine of 75. Okay. All right, so it's R1 times R2, so that's 3 times 2, times the cosine of 45 plus 75. plus I times the sine of 45 plus 75. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to change that to a... Okay. All right, so this is going to be 6 times, okay, and then that's the cosine of 45 plus 75, which is 120 plus I times the sine of 120. <clears throat> okay, so this right here is multiplying them together, and this is having the answer in trigonometric form. Well, let's change this to rectangular form. Okay, so I've got 6 times now I need the cosine of 120. All right, so let's find the cosine of 120. Well, we know that 120 is here in the second quadrant. Okay, so I need to find my reference angle. And we'll represent the reference angle with the subscript R. So I know the reference angle, that's going to be 180 minus this 120 will leave me with my reference angle. So my reference angle is 180 minus 120. So the reference angle is 60 degrees. <clears throat> and if you need if you need to see more on this, I've got some videos on doing this, uh, calculating these trig functions, and we use the reference angles in them. So you can check those out. All right. So now I can use the reference angle. So remember the cosine of 60 is 1 half. Okay. Now that's the cosine of 60 but we're looking for the cosine of 120. Well 120 is in the second quadrant so cosine is negative. Okay. Plus I times the sine of 120. Well we use our reference angle 60. The sine of 60 is square root of 3 over 2. We are in the second quadrant. Okay, Sine is positive, so it's positive square root of 3 over 2. And then we'll come over here and we'll distribute the 6. And so I get negative 3 plus, and then let's see, that's going to be 3i square root of 3. And so that would be our solution. All right, so... I mean, that's all you do. You just, you know, R1 times R2, 
add the angles together. Okay. All right, and then you know you convert it to rectangular form. A lot of the directions say that, and you know if your teacher tells you just leave it in trigonometric form, that's fine too. Okay. All right, so I hope this helped. Uh, give me a like, subscribe, uh, share the video. Thanks for watching.